Hello, Nara. Hello. You talked about stupidity. What do you think people are more stupid or smart? There are two aspects of this. I see uh, one of them is ignorance, which is predominant. We just don't know about things. And when we learn about it, we don't know how to react. So ignorance is one of the things. And then smartness, as it is expressed in this question, uh, I think maybe it's directed in the way of uh, being, um, uh, what's the word, cunning, uh, trying to get things for my goals. Uh, so when I'm talking about stupidity, I'm going more in this uh, way of just, I don't know. And when I get the new knowledge, I'm not willing to accept it because it's so different. This is the cultural resistance to something which makes sense, but it's easier to be as everybody else than to accept something which is reasonable. We have uh, uh, some questions from audience as well, and uh, most of them are excited about uh, that barefoot thing. And uh, the question, uh, uh, are you barefoot also on the street and during winter time? Well, yesterday evening I took a walk <laughs> in the Apaya and it was really pleasant, although the temperature is around zero. When it gets really cold, I put on some shoes, of course, to protect myself. This is the only reason. Usually in halls like this, I don't have anything to protect my feet from. It's all smooth and nice and taken care of and clean, so when people uh, ask me about barefootedness in this kind of situation, I ask them back again, so why are you wearing shoes when there is no need? When I have a need, I of course put on my shoes, but our culture puts on shoes all the time, even when there is no need. I try to twist things a little bit around. When people ask me of my reasons, I ask them of theirs. So this is kind of my answer <laughs> given as a question. What are usually the reasons why people wear shoes? The first and foremost reason is that everybody else wears shoes. So you're socially excluded if you're not wearing shoes. People are seeing you as a bum or something. People even come to me and give me food or, or give me, want to give me money just because I'm not wearing... They, 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 especially shoes are such a special thing. You're poor. You know, this is the message you're sending to the world, you're poor. And then when I... When I it's also good, you know, because when some bum approaches me and wants, wants something for me, I just show him my food and they're like, oh, he's even more poor than I am. So it, it sometimes helps me, but yeah, the basic thing is that uh, the main reason is because people are seeing everybody and they think this is normal, this is acceptable, this is, there is a reason behind it, although there's not. Yeah. Is not wearing shoes creative? For me it is, especially uh, sociologically, because now I have an opportunity to be in situations which most people don't experience. And then my creativity is in responding to these situations, especially when I go to European Parliament and meet with politicians. And they, they want to judge me, but they think, oh, he's there, he must be someone important, <laughs> so he's not wearing shoes, so what should I do? And then, you know, I, I create some kind of uh, puzzlement or um, yeah, some dichotomy in people's minds, which then changes my position for them. And, uh, I'm playing a lot with this. It also helps me with my writing and with my research, with my, uh, in my talks, to be in this position. And uh, finally, a question. Uh, what are your suggestions to people how to start being smart and creative? Mm -hmm. The first thing to do, always, <laughs> is uh, to make some shift in your own behavior. Do something totally different, something crazy and expose yourself to the world. And then you do three, thing, three things. First thing is be aware of what's going on. The second thing is observe yourself. So be aware of everything and observe yourself. Of course, the world too, but observing yourself is the most important thing. And the third thing is uh, make corrections. So if you see that what you're doing is stupid, stop doing it. If you see that it's smarter than what the rest of the people are doing, continue doing it and continue researching it until it makes more sense than what the rest of the world are, is saying. And then people might someday see you as a pioneer who opened many people's uh, eyes and many people's imaginations to, be, to live a more fulfilling, healthy, whatever life. Thank you for coming to Liepaja. Yeah, You're welcome. <laughs>